Hello, chat. It has been a minute since the last stream that wasn't uh, shown in a show related. <clears throat> Hello Ice Devil, hello Dragon Gus, hello Campa, hello Xenolith, Aiden, Ava Availing, Christopher. Yes, three chapters of torture. Three chapters that I've already read, but, um... I will be reading them again. The stream started and I thought the schizophrenia finally got to me. <laughs> what does that even mean? Stride? True. Oh, are you reading? Hope it's in peak, man. My life has been hell because you haven't exposed us to enough Zorbas. I'm sorry, man. On Sundays, we do Shonen and Chill, and by then, it's like 3 or 4 p.m., and I go like, do I want to stream? I've just talked for an hour and a half. I don't know. But uh, I might try to do it anyway, because I know that a lot of people actually like these streams. Oh, you had it open in the background. <laughs> Rip Fabricant. Why the fuck? Why would you come in here and instantly, instantly say this to me? Kampa, have you no shame? YouTube's broken and is trying to show me a five ads for an acid stream. Well, make sure you... Actually, I can't say that. That's actually against TOS. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> Never mind. Today begins my school. September? I thought school started like a week ago. Two weeks ago. Uh, we were going to record Shonen and Chill today, but um, apparently there's like a block party where Zen lives and he, he can't record. There's too much background noise. So I decided to stream. I said uh, I was thinking about streaming tomorrow anyway because it was Labor Day. So it w I was gonna stream either way, but um, since we're not doing Shonen and Chill today, then we'll just be doing this. Canada has school start in September. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Rest in peace, Fabricate One Hundred. Yeah, it's it's very sad. I don't want to live in a world where My Hero Academia gets to four hundred chapters and Fabricate doesn't even get to forty. Great Uraraka video today. Thank you. Um, I was talking to, I think, Gyro? I think I was talking to Gyro about something uh, a few weeks ago. And I looked through my videos and I was like, damn. I have really only made three MHA videos in the past five months? And I'm not going to lie to you, man. It feels great. It was spicy. Oh, what's up, man? You've been in school for almost a month? Yeah, I know. I know American school started a while ago. <coughs> Considering I work at a school. <laughs> Fabricant author should have just drawn number 100 naked, double caked up with some fetish shit around her tits. <laughs> you would have made chapter 100 chapter easy. Dude, I think I remember saying the ex like something very similar to that on Shonen and Chill. I was like, man, it feels like if you want to make it in this industry, you got to do some weird ass shit for at least the first volume. You gotta be a, a real freak to get past the first volume. Hello, Led. Haven't read MHA for a while. Can't wait to see what amazing character moments Hori has cooked up for us. <laughs> I know that there are a multitude of people that um, only experience MHA through my streams now, so I would like to formally apologize for not streaming for three entire chapters. Uh, you guys missed some of the best fiction that exists. Emergency nipple. Yeah. Controversial question, but let's get into it. Who is the most underwhelming or disappointing character to you at this point of the story? By disappointing, do you mean... Um, characters that have like a shit ton of missed potential? Or... do Are we talking about characters that got fucked? How is Chainsaw Man's part 2 going? I'm a few chapters into it. Um, I spent a lot of this week... Trying to get a video out in like two days, so I haven't really been reading it. <clears throat> also, Ocean Man, I like your rebrand. It looks very nice. You look very pretty today with your rebrand. <laughs> Who hasn't lived up to what we should have gotten from them? Uh, I mean, the easy answer is Deku, right? Because Deku hasn't been a character in like uh multiple years. Uh, the second answer is Shigaraki, because he has also not been a character in multiple years. Kiss me already? Oh, dude. Off-stream, man. Come on. 
<laughs> the real missed potential in My Hero Academia is Sato, okay? Sato should have come up. He should have had the diabetes arc, let's be real. Diabetes arc would have gone crazy. I watched your Ur Rocket video, and it was pretty. Thanks, man. Ochaka video was peak, thanks. I thought it was okay. <laughs> I made it in two days. I wrote it on Friday. No, I wrote it on Thursday. And then I edited it on Friday so that I could get it out for Saturday. So that members could watch it. Early. Um. So I made the video in two days, and I, I th the whole time I was like, this video is not very good. <laughs> this video is not very good. Momo Miscarriage would have won awards. <laughs> Alright, man. You might like a series called Mashoko Tensei. Oh, man, you should watch Mashoko Tensei for the uh, erectile dysfunction orc. <laughs> Miss Potential is Deku from Chapter 1 because he All Might gave him a quirk instead of Deku deciding to become Batman. True! Very true. Great point. I expected the empty video to gather more views, definitely after watching you speaking the truth. Uh, I'm glad it didn't, because it was a very annoying. It was a very annoying time in my life. That, that th like, three-day period. Uh, I liked the comment that Ocean Man left. Oh, this guy blocked me? Oh, what a pussy. Hang on. So I posted my Mashoko Tensei video, and he said something like, uh, I don't know, he said something cringe. I think he called me, like, a tourist or something. <laughs> and I remember, I said, remember to become a YouTube member so you get early access to more content. I got 74 on his head, and he blocked me. <laughs> oh, what a freak. Did you see Across the Spider-Verse? Look, guys, no, I haven't. <laughs> I haven't seen it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, here's the Ocean Man comment. <laughs> They'll be assembling the Epstein Avengers in your mentions. The two quotes. <laughs> okay, one of them is gone now. I guess I got blocked. Um. Crazy how you compare fiction to real life situations. You are truly lost. Schizo. <laughs> the fucking. The A B Epstein is alive. <laughs> oh, man. That is fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh yeah, and this guy said okay pedophile to Ocean Man and then posted like this entire compilation of people who are like have I don't know, I guess bad takes. And Ocean Man isn't even in it, so I don't even know why he linked this to him. Like I scrolled through it real fast and I searched Ocean is. He's not even in here. So like I don't even know why he posted this. <laughs> I got that many replies. Yeah, dude, they were beating your ass. <laughs> they were beating your ass. Equating a billionaire child sex trafficker to someone who watches cartoons off internet attention makes you a bad person. Just FYI. <laughs> oh, that shit was funny. I am, yeah, I, I am perfectly content with the Mashoku Tensei video's performance because... Um, I don't know how else to put it, man. Pedophiles are crazy, man. Like, they they really got the whole pedal squad out there. This chapter sucks, well, that's a given. EDP is back. Yeah, he saw my video and, like, he couldn't help himself. <laughs> You cooked in the Mashoko Tensei video? I know. Because there hasn't been a good counter-argument against a single point. Just join the pet stream while your pedophile is crazy? Well, I mean, I think even without context, this sentence makes sense, but also I'm talking about Mashoko Tensei. I didn't know Rudeus had shooters like that. I got my ass beat. Yeah, I know. 
Oh, and by the way, I, I do want to make it clear, because uh, I'm sure there's some people still hate lurking. Uh, when I say pedophiles are crazy, I'm not talking about all Mashoko Tensei fans. Um, I'm talking about the ones that responded to me in particular. <laughs> Very uh, thin thinly veiled. Nobody's been able to back up their claims. Yo, I know. Um, it's one of those... The, the Mashoko Tensei video is one of those things that, like, I just know I'm correct on. I said defending slavery is wrong on Twitter and got attacked by, like, 15 MT fans. I mean, yeah, that's just that's just how they are. A lot of people, as, like, a counter-argument to my entire video, were like, I bet this guy has Game of Thrones favorited on HBO. I've never seen Game of Thrones, dude. <laughs> I've never even seen it. I think I watched episode one and I got bored. There wasn't enough like subway surfers in the corner. I needed like a little family guy clip every five minutes to keep me enthralled. <laughs> oh man. Do you guys think maybe people still like these MHA chapters because there's like subway surfers on the sides? Like every time they open up the the Manga Plus app, they can like swipe real quick on their phone to, to go play Subway Surfers. Bro doesn't even have HBO to begin with, that is true, I also don't have HBO. I mean, if I wanted to watch Game of Thrones, I would just pirate it anyway, so that's, that's besides the point. They should make Subway Surfers, but Monster Hunter. <laughs> the final war goes crazy next to Family Guy clips. Gas. You see, guys, this is what happens when I haven't streamed in like three in like a month. When I, have, when I haven't streamed in like a month, all I can talk about is <laughs> subway servers and pedophiles. <laughs> you gonna be playing Monster Hunter now, by the way? What do you mean by now? Did something happen? I mean, if subway servers Monster Hunter drops, I mean... <laughs> I might have to throw that up on the side of my video. Playing as a little Rathalos, you know? Going crazy. Monster Hunter now the new game? Wait, there's a new game? Monster Hunter X Pokemon Go? Oh, real? Oh, shit. Yo, dude. When, when Pokemon Go first came out, I'm not gonna lie, I was on that shit. That shit was fun, man. I had a good time. I played with my mom. What's the music you're playing, Ashley? It's World of Warcraft OST. I played with my mom, and uh, we, went, we went out a lot, and we did stuff together. It was fun. I remember my girlfriend and I tried to get back into Pokemon Go, like, last year, and we got... We stopped, like, instantly. It didn't It didn't hit. The uh, the Pokemon Go shit in, like, what, what year was it? Was it, like, 2018? Something like that? It was crazy, man. Like... In my, cause I, li I live in the middle of the city, so I saw people everywhere playing Pokemon Go. It was actually crazy. 2016? Oh, that's right, that's right. Uh, there's like this one, like, shopping center uh, that I went to for Pokemon Go because there was like a bunch of fucking rest stops and shit. And there was like hundreds of people walking around on their phones playing Pokemon Go. That was actually just like a crazy phenomenon. That I don't know if it will ever be captured again. Last time Nintendo fan seen outside? Yeah, good thing I'm not a Nintendo fan. My dad played it for a few months and I'm a Pokemon fan and couldn't get into it for real. I felt like the crazy one. <laughs> Fair. Bro, Pokemon Go killed my grandma? That's crazy. Maybe I should get my grandma to play it. Uh, they tried to blame Pokemon Go for it, too. Wait, for what?
Did you peep the title drop and do retry this week? Yes, I did. Uh, very bad. Very, very bad. Our town has a union of unemployed folks who defend all the gyms to this day. Well, you know what, Ocean Man? I'm glad they formed a union. <laughs> Good for them, okay? They know their rights. What's your thoughts on the state of my hero? Uh, I mean, I think it sucks. <laughs> kind of the same thing I've been saying for a while. Do group chats and cookouts and everything? Hey, man, they're having fun, you know? That's good. Um, speaking of unions, uh, isn't... Oh, yeah, isn't sag after uh, working to strike in video games, too? That's awesome, dude. My top three Re Zero characters changed. I'm glad to hear that Roswell's in it now. And if he's not, just don't send another message. Here it is. Dude, this is so gas. Damn, we were just getting hyped for GTA. Man, shut up. <laughs> shut up, dude. This is awesome. Elder Scrolls 6 is never gonna see the light of day. Man, Elder Scrolls 6 is gonna take like fucking 15 years to come out anyway. I don't think it's gonna be affected by a voice acting strike. Man, shut up. Uh. Cool, sounds like some video game fans will finally get their chance to voice the video game roles. Yep, have fun having your roles sound like shit, man. Good luck. Elder Scrolls 6 is a money laundering scheme. Dude, I saw a post the other day that... <laughs> that they finally finished, like, pre-production or something. It wasn't that game announced, like, a fucking eons ago. That is crazy. I hate how most, if not all, Twitter blue subscribers are anti-union. Well... You have to realize that, like... A solid 75% of people that would... Um... Actually give money... To Elon... Are the exact kind of people that would be anti-union. Now, I'm gonna like. There's obviously the the select amount of people that are that are buying Twitter Blue specifically because they want the exposure from it. And I understand that. There's some people that have this as their job, right? And they they want the exposure. They want the paycheck from it. And shit. I get that. Uh, but but a lot of people, I would say, most of Twitter Blue subscribers are uh, because they're sad little men. I saw people. I saw some people worried about Spider-Man Two releasing, bro. Uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like that game was probably mostly already voice acted anyway. The D boost from not being blue is crazy. It's something like minus sixty percent compared to pre Musk. Seriously? Holy shit! See, I've kind of just stopped tweeting, so it doesn't really affect me. But when I do tweet, I feel like my tweets do about the same. People being like, this is so inconvenient for me is why labor, labor died in the US and Americans deserve whatever we get. I can fix them. It's fine. One anime video at a time. I will I will blue pill them on unions, okay? Dude, when, when ReZero Arc 9 drops and it's about Subaru unionizing the workplace. Oh man, it's gonna be gas. It's crazy because the unions will literally help improve video game quality. I know you're not American, Roisin, so you probably don't know this, but America has had, like, a, an anti-union, like, propagandist movement for a very long time. <laughs> I, I, like, you pretty much can't go, like, five feet without talking to an American. And, like, about unions, and they go, oh, I don't know, but, like, what if unions protect, like, bad workers? 
What do you think about Twitter being called X? Uh, it's stupid. Not gonna lie, a side story about Subaru forming a union for the Royal Knights alongside Marcos would be peak. Yeah, especially after he gets assassinated for trying to do it. <laughs> Genuinely insane, uh, seeing how many people are coping in the comments in your Mashoku Tensei video jumping to the defense of a pedo. I mean, yeah, I'm not surprised. Only union that doesn't deserve to exist is the police union. True! True and real. Trump indictment photo was peak. Mugshot went crazy, bro. The second I saw it, I knew I had to tweet out. I had to tweet. <laughs> the second it came out, I knew I had to tweet this. Me after the top secret Aseratha, Aseratha anti MHAGC gets leaked. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, should we talk about that too? Apparently, my, co my secret cabal. I forgot that that happened while I wasn't streaming. I came back on Twitter and you don't even post anymore. What was the point? Well, do you want me to post about MHA? I'm, a, I'm gonna just assume your answer is no. And then the next follow up is do you want me to tweet about ReZero? And then the next issue with that is I'm, I'm not caught up, so I don't want to be spoiled. <laughs> USA is so funny. An entire identity built on the idea of freedom, being ready to live out their dreams, but any chance they get, they prove to be servo <laughs> bootlickers, sexually attracted to the status quo. Yeah. We got a little silly, man. Uh, so Gyro kicked me out of the anti MHAGC. Can I be added back? Yeah, I got you, bro. <laughs> Not yet, so the world isn't ready for what the Cabal has planned for it. Become a JJK aesthetic account. Okay. Fair enough. Um. So. Yeah, people have been posting. Uh, this isn't like. This happened uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, people have been very upset because I have my secret cabal of MHA haters where we all tactically decide what propaganda to spread to uh, tank the series public opinion on Twitter. Um, which is very funny. Now... What they mean by this, I have a vague idea. Uh, what they're referring to is my Discord server. Which is so public that uh, the link to the Discord server is in my Twitter bio, it's in my YouTube bio, it's in uh, the description of every single YouTube video I've ever made. <laughs> and... Uh, is notably not a private cabal. It actually has 800 people in it now, I think. It actually might be 799. Let me see. Yeah, it's got it's got exactly 799 people. Notably not private. <laughs> oh god, he's leaking the server. Uh, and the funniest part is... Is that they think that, like, I actually participate in the MHA section of the server. I think if I look up my messages, let me see. Oh, I can't do it because stream remote is enabled. Get fucked. There we go. Turn it off. So, the amount of messages I have in the MHA section of the server uh, is 7,800, which, you know, okay. Sure. It's a good chunk. The server has existed for almost two years, but, you know. Uh, and then you go to the ReZero section, and instead of 7,000, I have 47,000. <laughs> um... See, I don't really be talking in there. Icarus called out the Cabal. Yes, Icarus was very upset because... Uh, twice posted a screenshot of one of his tweets eight months ago. Um, and just so you know, the screenshot was of him saying that, Oh, I'm glad that the MHA racism plotline is exposing all these pro-violent protesters. <laughs> and I think Bubba called it stupid or something. Um, and people were very, very upset about that.
Now, here's the thing, okay? I totally understand the frustration one can feel. Um, from having people talk about the things you say. Just in general, and like, talking about them negatively. I mean, that's my entire life, basically. I understand that can be frustrating. Um, however, it's just, that, that's, that's social media. Uh, you say things, people talk about them. Um, I think Icarus was mostly mad because... Twice, or he's blocked by twice, or he has twice blocked, I don't know. So he shouldn't be posting screenshots or whatever. Um, I don't know if I'm expected and, like, all of the mod team is expected to vet every single screenshot and tweet ever posted in, like, human history. Be like, oh, are you blocked by this guy? Or does this guy have you blocked? Because, like, that's just not... That's not, like, feasible. Or, like, am I also supposed to, like, if anybody partake in a public Discord server, by the way, with 800 people, am I supposed to, like, engage in conversation by asking every single person who was partaking in that topic, oh, are you, you're not blocked, are you? Okay, you can't talk about this then. Like, be, be real, bro, come on. That's just very silly. Like I said, I understand the frustration, uh, because apparently it's a mutual block. But, like, people are gonna talk about the shit you say. That's just how it works on social media. And if you don't want that to happen, either don't post on social media or go private. It's really not that big of a deal. It's kind of a, the... It's kind of the philosophy I've had the entire time on Twitter, is that if I post something on Twitter, I expect people to talk about it. That's just how it works. How's active retrospective going? The, uh... The trader arc section is almost done. This is why I only post my perif now. I don't have to pretend to care what Norbies think. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> like, if you don't want people to talk about the shit you say, you just post it in private. It's fine. Uh, but yes, I must, I must disappoint many people. Uh, there is no secret cabal. Uh, ironically, actually, I have been in many MHA group chats over the years that basically are secret cabals, uh, where people post their- people post other people's tweets and talk shit, um, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, my Discord server is very public, very, very public. Uh, the bot posts the invite link all the time, actually. How long the stream been going? Like, 30 minutes. That is false. Obviously, I have infiltrated the Cabal. Fair enough. Now, I do have some discourse lined up, but we can save that for, uh... <laughs> after the chapters. Praying one day I could be like you and fall in love with an obscure series no one cares about so I can know peace in my little corner with my blurbos. Well, the issue here is that you think that uh, nobody cares about ReZero. Which, unfortunately, a lot of very shitty people care about ReZero. Uh, everything I see from ReZero Twitter, uh, these guys, these people kind of suck. Thoughts on Vincent? F's here. Anyway, let's read Hori's nine pages of cooking, or eight pages, or whatever he did. My Hero Academia, chapter 397! Yippee! They can't be worse than Mashoko Tensei Twitter? No, they're probably not. I mean, there is some overlap, though. Thoughts on MHA shippers, Essa? I do not care. I'm out, good luck, Essa. Goodbye, okay. Is the Reezer manga any good? It's fine. It has the uh, cut content that the anime does not have. <coughs> However, some of it does not look very good to some people. Stupid count true. All right. Oh. <sighs> 
I have to say, this feels wrong. Here I am, past the age of 50, beating the tar out of a helpless lad. You harbor a ferocious rage in you that hungers for one for all. That's what I'm exploiting, and it's the only reason this fight is even possible. Yeah, you don't say. The fate that binds the two of us. Any real demon lord would be aghast. Getting woofed by a quirkless man? I mean, really? I'll keep you in this obsessive delirium, so you won't be able to tear your eyes from me. Springify, Brawn Boost, Air Cannon, Rivet Stab, Dark Ball, Impure Beam. Man, all of these quirks. But not using the EMP quirk. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Just straight up not using it. I think I saw somebody on Twitter say, Oh, but like, what if it doesn't work? And it's like, okay. What if? Let's find out. How about you actually use it? <laughs> cool, epic explosion that all my fucking tanks... <laughs> this is so stupid, man. What a mishmash of a combo. Utility cape, auto guard, dark shadow. It's proof that I'm pushing his buttons just right. Keep talking, Toshinori. Keep him riled up. Hori's use of AFO is so annoying. He can use any of his quirks and it's always seven explosion abilities combined. I don't think... I don't know, man. Horikoshi has just never been good at fights. I mean, not to say that there haven't been good ones, like, choreography-wise, because there have been. Um, But I, it feels like he doesn't try, man. Cape destroyed, commutative fractures, and classical, and left humorous. Oh, wow. Let's go. He's got some broken bones. He took seven... a seven-quirk combo attack... Flew through multiple buildings from one of the strongest people in the fucking world. He's even stronger than his prime because of uh, f the way Rewind works, I guess, for some reason. And he tanked it. Where is Manga Man Drew where we need <laughs> when we need him? Oh, he's banned from the channel, don't worry. <laughs> This allows you to fight, you said? You're sorely mistaken. You pathetic, washed up piece of garbage. So you're wearing a trash bag and have lost all perspective? Well, your gadgets are gone once I break them, because those toys can't go beyond their own limits. Gotta be sure not to rely on them too much. Yeah, 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 there's the flashback shit. Great minds think alike, old pal of mine. Really, kid? Was that pipe gonna lead you to victory? And then he goes and punches him. Pog. Poggers. No, obviously I didn't fall for your cheap ploy to stall me. I can easily spare the time to clean up trash by the side of the road. Desperate to play it cool, huh? How undignified. And then the chapter is just sort of over. So, to those curious why I didn't stream the past couple of weeks, I was not going to stream a seven-page chapter. Um... What's with this My Hero Academia stuff? I think you should read ReZero instead. I am a much better series. Dude, the, the juxtaposition of me reading Arc 8, Chapter 12, or 11 and 12 last night, compared to this, oh my god. It, it goes crazy, man. Let me be your pupil. <clears throat> Pog, action, yippee, firing from the car. Yay, more parts. Epic. At least the art is good, could be worse than have the art style decline like JJK. That's true, yeah. I mean, yeah, I have not enjoyed JJK's art for quite some time. Super acid injection. Oh yeah, we're just like injecting him with poison and then calling it, <laughs> calling it pinky.
Oh, just after rewinding some damage, you're dissolving away now. Oh, might. I'm trash, right? So much for that theory. Let me assist you. Without a cork? Ridiculous. Please, I mean it. Go defend a three meter radius with that rusty pipe yours. Good luck. My family was killed a while back. Mine too, but I don't have the luxury to join your little quest for vengeance. I just can't accept the world where those who take from others come out on top. And then those who've had everything stolen, their grief turns to hatred in an endless spiraling cycle. Yeah, and what's your solution? I want to make a world uh, I want to make the world a place where everyone can live with a smile, and for that, the world needs a symbol. A symbol of what? Of peace. Even with plenty of new buildings and visible visible restoration efforts, people have been living in fear for a while now. Their hearts and minds are shrouded in darkness. So you would put on a grand display of power? Everyone's got a tough enough time with their own three-foot radius, so yes, I would step up. A corkless guy like me has no role otherwise. Ass. Ass. He tank- wh what the fuck? He tanks this too, man! All for one is even closer to way now, but he's veered off course. Yo, disingenuous parallels, let's go. He's pursuing All Might instead. I can't, it's like so small I can't read this text. Fractured ribs, full body contusions, okay. Respiratory malfunction. I too was once brimming with youth. The man we knew as All Might could not live his life any other way. Dude, the fact that this is on the same rooftop is so cringe. God, I, I hate. You take parallels away from Horikoshi in Act 3, and I don't think- I think the manga goes on permanent hiatus. Is he even younger now? Maybe he's not aware of it? Better not probe or he might come to his senses. Ha 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 ha. Don't stop now, Hercules. Keep it coming. <sighs> you guys remember when Villain Hunt's message was like, don't kill yourself? You remember when Horikoshi came through the screen and Villain Hunt was like, do not kill yourself? Is the stream lagging for anyone else? Actually, yes it is. My frames are dropping for some reason. I do not know why. Yeah, my, my frames are dropping, I don't know why. Hang on. <clears throat> Once again, I am being attacked for presenting new ideas. I'm dropping a lot of frames, holy shit. Uh, okay, we're good for now. Hori did the impossible. He made VH worse. Yeah. Man, the retrospective is going to be so fun. Uh, given this week's chapter, I think I should really get moving on the retrospective. I said this a lot, and I don't do it, but I think I should really do it this time. <laughs> Um. Okay. We back. Frames have stopped dropping for now.
He had to use quirks to expel the pinky super acid from his body, but the strain is hurting him. Does taking damage speed up the rewinding process? How does this still make any sense? I don't- dude, this is fucking so nonsensical. How does it just do the opposite of what it's always done? Like, this was the entire point of Deku versus Overhaul. Like, I don't understand how this works. To be of service to others, what a joy. Man, if only there was a way you could be of service without literally just killing yourself. Wouldn't that be weird? Fight on together. Thrusters, Aravity, and Ingenium. Full throttle. You hear me? To victory. He's fighting. All Might. Midoriya, kid. Don't worry, guys. We're getting our one- We're getting our one panel- Our one page of Deku vs. Shigaraki. So that Hori can be like, Guys, trust me. It's coming, okay? Just- I promise, guys. Just get through the Aoyama shit, okay? <laughs> get through the Sero moment. Get through Sato punching his cake, okay? We'll get there, I promise. <laughs> Pog. Real talk, do we think that we'll even get a decent amount of Deku vs. Shigaraki? I guess it depends on what you mean by decent amount. Uh, I think four or five chapters. For sure. Maybe si actually six. Six chapters. I'm gonna say six. Don't forget Aizawa and Mike vs. Kuragiri before Deku and Shigaraki. Oh, well, at least that's possibly interesting. I'll take it. <laughs> Oh, guys, chapter 399. Yippee. <laughs> Is there any characters left that haven't suffered damage from Act 3? Possibly Toga. And possibly Ochako. We will see how that goes. Um. Uh. Depending on the epilogue, maybe Shoto? I mean, I, I wouldn't say Dobby got ruined by Act 3. He was just a little silly. Um, all the nobody ca actually no all all of the class got ruined because of Trader Arc. Never mind. What will you do for the chapter four hundred special? Uh, I don't know. Probably go to sleep. <laughs> Maybe that's why Hori wanted to get the Aoyama shit out of the way real quick. Is because the next chapter is four hundred, and he, like he just actually wanted it to be good. So. He was like, okay, okay, get, get this over with, let's get Aoyama out of the way. And then chapter 400 could be something people actually care about. Dude, if chapter 400 is like fucking Sarah, I'm gonna lose my mind. That'd be so funny. Okay. He should boost my speed and mobility for tighter turns. He m must be getting bored of the one-sided struggle. Tentacle plus froppy suction pads. Shoto, Tailman, and then I'll set the trap. Assuming repeated massive damage uh, to that body shortens his lifespan for some reason. I know just the quirk to get the job done all at once. The problem is the power source. Playing this by the book won't be all too effective. 
Lend me a hand. Anyway, he, he's just got robot birds, too. That's so funny, man. <laughs> he's just got robot birds. What doesn't he have? He can, he can just make any quirk. He can make any quirk. Cackling like a mad for one minute and scampering and hiding the next. Here he comes. Your goal here is no mystery to me, and I don't need to waste ex excess strength. To twist that garnish grin, or garish grin, into an agonized grimace. Power saver mode is plenty enough for killing you. Rise. Okay, I know we were just shit talking AFO's quirks, but this shit, I, I always like this one. This one's cool. This is, I like this quirk, it's cool. Liar descend. Hmm? No, I really am conserving my power. Now, where'd that lovely smile go? You're nothing but a bag of bones missing half his guts. An old fool providing hospice care for himself with shoddy simulacrums of the children's powers. Smile, you're still on camera. The whole world will be watching, remember? They'll see the symbol of peace falling to his doom as the symbol of impotence. I mean, I gotta say the the art's cool too. I can't can't deny it. So, okay, this is a question I've asked a lot on Shonen and Chill, but I haven't said it on stream yet, so I'm gonna ask it here. Uh, why didn't All Might just jump AFO? <laughs> like, like, why didn't he and Endeavor just jump him? And I'll I'll let that I'll let that marinate for a little bit, okay? Because the last page of this chapter will really show why, okay? You still don't get it, good buddy. Lights tend to flicker on and off, so while my light might be snuffed out, someone's sure to pick up my torch and shine on. Oh, you mean... What should have happened to begin with, you dumb bastard? <laughs> and then that radiance meets the darkness, and when that radiance meets the darkness, there is no need for light. You think AFO is going to become a child, reach Shiggy, and then we'll get a parallel to AFO holding baby Shiggy's hand with the rolls reversed? Yes. Uh, he loves parallels. Uh, I saw Aoyama in the leaks, and, like, I rolled my eyes h horrendously. About 300 meters northeast of Ground Zero for the Divide and Conquer operation, 32 heroes were tasked with mopping up the villains who weren't... Uh, warped away, all but one of those heroes were wiped out. For you see, my ceilings require only flesh to thrive. The roots dig down all slowed like, so my fat absorption can't do a damn thing. Show them what you're made of, Aoyama. I do believe this is the largest flower on record. After just one bloom, the spreading pollen allow them to uh, propagate like a daisy chain, if you get what I mean. They are veritable extensions of myself, via their roots. You've got no hope of escape, traitor. Without your belt, your power freely leaks out, leaving you unable to aim, and your desperate straining only feeds the plants. Imagine that, ho imagine that hoping to fit in, you became his pawn and accepted a power that was ill-suited for your physiology. To put it bluntly, you've led a pathetic, shameful life. Oh, Yuga, how wonderful. Hence why I said mercy. Reminding myself of how shamefully I've lived is what spurred me on to follow in the wake of the light they bring. It's given me the desire to shine from deep down within my core. Horko, she could not resist drawing her, like, fully nude. Just had to draw the whole thing. He could not help himself. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah. He just gets beat. Dude, the Aoyama stuff being resolved in, like, five pages is so funny. It's actually hilarious. Uh, one, because it sucks. Um, two, because... Um, like I said, I think he's just prepping for chapter 400. Additionally, this is what I was talking about when I was mentioning Endeavor fighting AFO. Look at how much damage All Might was able to do with support gear. Look at this. Look at how big this blast is.
So. So. Endeavor went to Endeavor and Hawks, some of possibly the strongest people around. Went to go fight AFO at his weakest. And AFO, or sorry, Endeavor without an arm, almost killed him. Right? So you throw Mecha All Might into the mix, because if he's just going to get himself killed anyway, um, you might as well make sure AFO dies. <laughs> That's why he couldn't have jumped in, since it would have hit allies as well. Uh, just plan for it. Like... It's the same as Prominence Burn. I thought that was Aoyama? No, it's his bike. His bike is shooting a fucking giant laser beam. AFO didn't even have regen in Quirk City? No, he does not. <clears throat> Don't you think Hori drawing and never being another child would just be punching down though? Well, he'd get a power boost, dude. Endeavor gets a power boost against children. There's also like a suspension of disbelief, right? So, we know that All Might barely got mid gauntlet ordered from America before the borders closed, right? He barely squeezed it in. And then, what did All Might do? He had a mecha car produced from America that can also fit to his body, replace body parts over and over again, and also replicate the powers of like 20 people. What? 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 How the fuck does that work? In the same time span as mid as mid gauntlet. In case they failed, that all might was insurance. Why? Why was he insurance? Why is the corkless man, who in a world with support gear that shouldn't be the strong, <laughs> the insurance? At this point, you should have just made another suit that straps to AFO, and then just- just prominence burns him. Like... <laughs> you should have just prominence burned him again. Last line of defense, he can stall more than anyone else could? How about, instead of using the incredibly overpowered Iron Might suit as a last line of defense, you just kill all for one? All Might told no one about the suit, not even Tsukauchi, which he brought to tears. Yeah, it's just, it's just regression. Um... This whole thing about, oh, you should also be aware of the people around you, like, being upset with you literally killing yourself, and then All Might keeps this a secret that he's gonna kill himself. Also, yeah, he, he literally kept it a secret, so it wasn't even a last line of defense for anybody but Toshinori. All Might withheld information from people that could have changed the fight entirely. Because he's a piece of I guess he's just a piece of shit. Uh, maybe all the people on Twitter who were like, oh my god, I can't believe All Might gave such a powerful quirk to a child, what a bastard. Maybe they were just right, dude. Maybe he does suck. Also, sorry, Minori, I'm not ignoring it, I'm just waiting for it to pop up on screen. <laughs> so Sometimes it takes a bit. All Might just wanted Bakugo gone? Yeah, that's another thing. Uh, All Might heard that, like, Bakugo literally got punched so hard his heart exploded, and, like, he was just like, well... It's not the last line of defense, though. I mean, just gonna wait. <laughs> I mean, I'm just gonna wait, it's not that big of a deal. Like, <laughs> what if it gets worse, though? There we go. I only read Ma so I can have context to watch Ma. your videos. Love your Uraka video today. Can't wait for the Twitter portion of the stream. 
Gotta educate the theme merchants. <laughs> Thank you, man. I appreciate it. It's very kind. I'm sorry that I make you read MHA. It's very unfortunate. <laughs> That blast looks like I covered a city block. A support item doing this is fucking wild and people try to say a quirkless person couldn't be in top 10 with a suit like this? Exactly, dude. It's actually fucking asinine. Why didn't he help delay Shiki until Izuku got there? Yeah, that's like, okay, that's another thing. If, if Iron Might is supposed to be a last line of defense, things already went wrong when Deku got teleported away. So like, if there was ever a time to deploy the Iron Might suit, it would have been there. Now, would All Might have died? Yeah, probably. Like, <laughs> he'd probably be fucking dead. But also, he's probably going to be fucking dead against this anyway. Well, sorry, realistically, he should be dead against this, but I do think All Might will live. Uh, because... It's just, I don't know, I feel like that's what Horikoshi's going to do. Well, All Might, why do you have an orbital beam cannon? Is time consistent here or no? What do you mean? Do you think Hori actually changed his mind about All Might's character arc because otherwise it doesn't flow with the story? I think Hori has changed his mind about a lot of things in Act 3. Like, all for one. Coming back. <sighs> Not good chapters. Not good chapters. If All Might can beat Beyond Prime AFO, why would he have any trouble against the Corkless Shigaraki? I think he's going to win by technicality. All Might watching Bakugo die, I could be riding my Gundam right now. <laughs> yeah, I've seen people say, oh, it's because All Might's experienced. And it's like, oh, interesting. Very interesting uh, that the suit is apparently not a factor at all. <clears throat> This really boils the whole story down to if Midoriya's family was rich, he'd be top 5 in the verse. We gotta talk about something, okay? Hisashi Midoriya is the actual antagonist. He was not sending enough payments to Midoriya for him to buy an Iron Man suit. Izuku vs. Shigaraki starts at 366, so 33 chapters later, they're still not moving. Is time consistent here? Um, they've probably been fighting off-screen. I do believe that uh, Baba made a thread recently that said... That kind of calculated the amount of time that it's taken. It's probably been around 30 to 40 minutes. Th that, like, the final arc has been happening, basically. What's annoying is if you bring up the fact that All Might is actually fighting back Prime AFO, most people just say, well, he's just holding it back, he's not trying to win. Yeah, I mean, people people will accept it, no matter what happens. Why don't we see that? I don't know, ask Cory. Where's Bubba? He died. <laughs> Do you think this will end this year now? Maybe. Uh, it's going quite rapidly. And I think the Aoyama shit wrapping up in, like... Seven seconds is indicative of a lot of things. <clears throat> After MHA ends, will you ever read anything written by Hori or has he lost it? He's lost Mia. I mean, I'm not going to say I'll never read it, but, uh, yeah. Seeing someone put so much time and care into something that they loved for so long, only for them to just go, eh, fuck it. I would rather, I would rather him not do that to me again. Um, so I think that this is what started this course. I could be wrong. Um, <clears throat> Rukasu tweeted out yesterday 
The way some straight people treat Bakugo as a character is super weird. It's like they're afraid of him and can't admit how crucial he is to the story as a whole. Now, I want to get thing one. I want to get one thing out of the way first. I do understand Rukasu's overall point, uh, because I do think that there is a very heavy underlying homophobia to a lot of discussion, just in general about like Baku Deku, <clears throat> and sometimes about Bakugo. And I've talked about this numerous times on my Twitter. Um, however, uh, this tweet is really bad, <laughs> and he probably should have deleted it. Now, while I agree with that statement, that's not really what he said. I agree with the point he's trying to make, but the way he said it is really bad. Um, the way some straight people treat Bakugo as a character is super weird. That is just a very strange thing to say. Oh, and yeah, like Gluttony pointed out, um, there was a tweet, uh, the other day where somebody very harmlessly just said, I don't watch JJK, but Nobara really is, gives me like, is like lesbian coded or whatever. And that was like discourse, and I, I just thought, is, is it really that big of a deal? Like, <laughs> who gives a shit? <laughs> like, actually, who cares? And it feels like it's just homophobic. So Rukasu got uh, a little vindicated by that, but what I would say is, it's not straight people, it's like some shonen fans. I feel like, I feel like shonen has uh, a decent chunk of bigoted fans. And that's mostly just because shonen is a really big... It's a really, it's a really big demographic. And there's a lot of shonen series, so a lot of people watch and read shonen. Um, and then it's like they're afraid of him and can't admit how crucial he is to the story as a whole. Oh, uh, well, this is silly. I don't think anyone's afraid of Bakugo. They probably just don't like him. And I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put aside the homophobia. Because I do think that does exist, and I've talked about it before. Um, and I'm just going to talk about the rest of this. Uh, people aren't afraid of Bakugo, they just think he's not very good. <laughs> which is, like, okay, which is whatever. Can't admit how crucial he is to the story as a whole. Now, this is, a, this is a, an exercise for chat. Can the people in chat go ahead and... Um, Name, like, three very pr plot-relevant things that Bakugo's done. Sorry if I'm weird, but I love this channel and subscribers, no assholes, and lots of funny comments. Uh, that's what happens when you try and cultivate a progressive fanbase, right? <laughs> I'm not straight, but I'm afraid of Bakugo. <laughs> Trauma dump on his victim, get kidnapped, and die. <laughs> Okay. A lot of people are just saying dying and getting kidnapped. Um, he told Deku to game at himself. True. So I would say Bakugo was pretty crucial to the story in Act 1. I think anyone who says otherwise is coping. Act 2... Bakugo is almost a non-factor. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Like, hang on, let me... List of MHA orcs. So, where does Act 2? So, Act 2. What does Bakugo do in PLE? Uh, he fails his license and then... Yells at Deku because of a pretty decent character development. That's about it. What does he do in Overhaul? Nothing, actually. He's not there. This is like the first big arc of the series. He's not there. Uh, remedial Course? What does he do? Oh, he's like a little bit better. 
What does he do in the school festival arc? Oh, he yells at people. What does he do in Pro Hero? He's not present. What does he do in joint training? Oh, I'm a little bit better. I can work with people now. What does he do in MVA? Well, nothing, obviously. What does he do in Endeavor Agency? Wait, what does he do in Endeavor Agency? Does he do anything? Chat, am I forgetting something? Does he do anything in Endeavor Agency? Oh yeah, he cooks. That's it, right? <laughs> Yellow people again, true. He's present. <laughs> okay. Uh, PLW, what does he do? He gets stabbed. So, you go from Act 1... Laughing at how I had the exact same reaction when you mentioned Endeavor Agency. You go from Act 1, which is basically his character gets established, his character flaws, and his progression gets set in stone. Uh, we head towards that with, like, final exams, uh, hideout raid, and it kind of gets finalized in PLE. Obviously, there's a little bit more progression in PLW, but the difference between PLE and PLW is a difference of about 100 chapters. 100 chapters of doing nothing. Now, what's he doing in Act 3? He says he's sorry, and then he dies. <laughs> Now, of course, I'm not going to say that every single character in a story has to serve the greater plot, right? Bakugo doesn't have to serve a role in the one-for-all or all-for-one plotline. He doesn't have to do that to be a good character. If you like Bakugo, that's cool. Just like how you can like Shoto, despite him not really having anything to do with the all-for-one or one-for-all plotline. Which, uh, in my opinion, is the primary plotline of My Hero Academia. That and like, society at large and stuff like that. I would say that's like the runner-up, which Bakugo also has nothing to do with because Bakugo is a privileged rich kid who benefited from the status quo, uh, used it to bully people, and then died. So. So, w when you say that Bakugo is crucial to the story, I'm left to wonder in what way is he crucial to the story? Now, he doesn't contribute to One For All. Uh, he helps Deku train, I guess. <laughs> uh, he doesn't help All For One, obviously. Um, he doesn't really contribute to any of those plot lines. He hasn't really done anything since Act 1 and barely Act 2. So, what, what, is, the, what is the crucialness of Bakugo's plotline? Because I'm not really seeing it. He has zero relevance in Deku and Shigaraki's conflict, which is... You know, like the main conflict of the story. He has no contributions whatsoever to the idea of saving villains, which was another main conflict of the story. Oh, Chaco does, which is funny. He's crucial to the beginning and foundation, I think, but saying the whole story is incorrect, I agree, yeah. So, yeah, I just, uh... I don't see the crucialness of the plot. I've been saying Shoto would make a better deuteragonist. Well, that's not the case because Shigaraki is the deuteragonist, so... Shigaraki is better than Shoto. Oh yeah, they say that he's crucial to the plot because he's the symbol of victory. Uh, when does when does Bakugo win? Except against children. Uh, Rukasu did add this to their tweet. Uh, they did delete it. So we're not really going to take it too seriously. Uh, but he added, P 
people are being obtuse in the court retweets. I'm talking directly to the people who say, Is Wojo, oh my god, the best ship ever, and think of Bakugo as a nuisance of their ship. If you're not one of those, then just ignore it. I'm feeling a strong not all men from the replies. Uh, this is a very bad tweet. <laughs> First of all, uh, if somebody says, Is Wojo, oh my god, the best ship ever, I don't know how the rest of this follow. Oh, uh, to say that you have to say that, that you're afraid of Bakugo, which is very, very silly. Um, and I don't think most people do this. I mean, I do, I do see that Rukasu is trying to talk about a very specific set of people, but uh, very poorly worded tweet. I see why he deleted this one. He should probably delete this one too, <laughs> to be honest. But um. I think it was just a bad tweet. I don't think Rukasu is like a fucking evil bastard or anything. Um, he should just not. He should not have the keys to his Twitter account when he was drunk. Apparently. Um, following that, what really sparked more discourse... <laughs> MHA fans, when I ask them what Bakugo does contribute to the story outside of having a relationship issues with Deku... <laughs> he froze my guy, he hasn't moved for 40 minutes, it's fucking... Mitch McConnell. 658 likes! 17 quotes! God damn! Just gonna ignore the obtaining flawless victory that's been part of his thing since joint training arc. Uh, I don't know how this... It, Contributes to the overall story. Um. <laughs> Riding on Deku's coattails, true. <laughs> Talking about he's important part of the final fight and he's been dead for most of it. <laughs> also, can we talk about how Bakugo has been like ragdolling around UA the entire fight? Every, like, big blow from Deku causes such an intense shockwave that he's gotta be, like, flying around as just a lifeless fucking body, right? <laughs> like, isn't that crazy? <laughs> His importance to the story is wifing Deku up. Oh my god. <laughs> what a silly thing to say. I like it, though. It's funny. Um, I can't see the quote retweet, but this got all- this farmed. Um, the story revolves around Deku and Bakugo's relationship. No, it genuinely doesn't. The story is about all for one and one for all. The other characters matter in the sense that they're trying to overcome the complacency society found itself in. Largely agree, I think. Um, th there is there is no world where the, the story revolves around Deku and Bakugo's relationship. It just doesn't happen. As much as you would like to cope and seethe about it. Uh, if the story revol- Okay, let's put it this way. If the story revolved around Deku and Bakugo's relationship, and Bakugo was that, like, not present throughout the story, kind of a shit story. <laughs> so we should be hoping that this is not the case. If, if Horikoshi comes out and says, the story is actually about their relationship, I'd be like, damn. It, it's somehow even worse than I expected. <laughs> MHA somehow fell even more than I thought, considering Bakugo was just not present. Uh, Bubba was also getting shit on, uh, because he said, Bakugo will, Bakugo can, Bakugo has, Bakugo and, Bakugo, in canon, has been getting surgery via a piece of paper for over 40 minutes now. 
after getting hit one time by Quirkle Shigaraki. Fun experiment, we make it illegal to read manga with cum in your pants and see which series starts falling. Wow. New Ways Exorcist is not making it then, unfortunately. Now, a lot of people were like, 40 minutes? It's not 40 minutes. So Bubba brought up the fucking receipts. All Might is stated to begin his fight with AFO 20 minutes before Toga's transformation ends. This is directly stated to us, and he's truing. It is, explicitly. All Might and AFO don't begin fighting until after Kuragiri wakes up, as seen with him inspiring Shota and Ida to go stop Dobby. True. This is true. Deku and Shigaraki have already been fighting for an undisclosed amount of time when Kuragiri arrives. Based on Deku's breathing, I'd guess the five minutes of gear shift. As you can tell, he's like, wheezing and huffing and puffing. At this time, both Dabi and Toga have already been picked up by Kuragiri. True. Checks out. The 20 minute mark we're given is as soon as AFO and AM meet up, meaning everything that happened between Dabi and Toga arriving at Gunga to AFO getting to All Might is undisclosed time after Shigaraki and Deku. I have been fighting, sorry. Begin fighting. Because again, Kuragiri is already awake. That means everything from Shiketsu arriving, Endeavor leading Dabi away, Tokoyami stalling AFO, Gigantomaki arriving, and AFO flying across the country happens between Kuragiri waking up and AM versus AFO. It is reasonable to believe that 10 to 20, uh, that that is 10 to 20 minutes worth of fighting. Fair. Which would mean Toga does not immediately drink twice his blood, but just before Kurigiri arrives, making the full time limit our timeline. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, Bubba cooked them. He used facts and logic <laughs> to cook them. Which makes it all the more funny when you have tweets like this. That are like, it's not 40 minutes. If it was, Deku's lungs would have collapsed by now. Y'all are reading with your eyes closed and it shows. <laughs> oh. And then he brings up just the insane timeline that he has. <laughs> See, Baku can be dead for like half an hour plus. Um, very funny. Oh, I don't know, chat. I gotta start working on the retrospective, I think. I think I really gotta get through it. I might have to start reaching out to uh, all the people I wanted to collab with and start... Start recording with them. It'll be fun. It'll be a, it'll be a good video. I'm excited for it. No, yeah, Ron. I mean, Bubba has it down to like 100%. Wouldn't he be brain dead by now? I mean, yeah, but it's a shonen, so he'll be fine. Sometimes you can't really just apply realistic shit like that to, to stories. I honestly think we might get the final chapter in X amount of weeks announcement before Halloween. I don't- I, I believe you, yeah. Like I said, I think Aoyama finishing in, like, half a chapter is very indicative of, uh, the pace of the story. The Kachan section of the retrospective. <laughs> Jesus. Are you gonna play Ultra Rumble? Is that the Battle Royale one? I might play it with Bubba. I know he wants to play it. I think he did play it during the beta and he, he liked it. What if MHA ends on chapter 420? Okay, I can bump it up half a point. It's fine. I'm gonna try and get more work done on the retrospective. I gotta finish the, uh... Oh shit, gotta finish the uh, f trader section. Um, 
And then I might start reaching out to people for uh for their part in the retrospective. Might be time to start assembling the the Avengers. Not the Epstein not to be confused with the Epstein Avengers, okay? That we talked about earlier. <laughs> It's revealed that Shiggy and Deku smoked some weed. On chapter 420, Deku will find out that Shigaraki smoked weed. And Deku will get a power-up and actually kill him. Alright, chat. We're finally caught up in everything. We read all the chapters. Um, we went through the discourse. Might be time to wrap her up today. I asked this in the Discord, but what do you possibly think could happen when we eventually POV swap back to Bakugo? Because knowing Hori, he won't just let him sleep until the final chapter, final chapter time skip. I, unfortunately, do not think I am capable of coming up with something stupid enough to accurately, cor like, correctly guess what happens when Bakugo wakes up. Um, it will be very stupid. It will be very silly. I will guffaw. That's about it. It will be gas when uh, Bakugo wakes up and instantly dies again. And then Edshot has to repeat the process. Gear 5 Bakugo will be peak. Yes, it will be. Alright chat, thanks everyone for coming out. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you're not already. I post every Sunday. I've only missed one where I wasn't sick. Uh, can you imagine that Edshot spends all this time fixing Bakugo then he does nothing? And his life. He spends all of his time and his lifespan fixing Bakugo just for him to be like in the epilogue. Um, follow me on Twitter if you're not already. I'm objectively correct all the time. Um, join my Discord. We talk about ReZero, My Hero Academia, Jujutsu Kaisen. We talk about all kinds of shit. There's a bunch of shit that people talk about there. And you can also become a YouTube member. Uh, which gives you some exclusive community posts and gives you access to videos before they're actually out and gives you a funny little colored name in the discord pog i love it when people who have been systemically oppressed and repressed get killed dumbed down and told not like this with no concrete alternative to the violence oh here we go i love it when people who have been systematically oppressed and repressed get killed dumbed down and told not like this with no concrete alternative to the violence revolution Minari, I think you're missing something. They are given a response, okay? They're told... You have no friends. <laughs> How could you forget... That they're called friendless and bitchless? You're dropping Marxist dissertation on Lemillion and he goes, Oh, I get it. Hm, you don't have friends. Uh, anyway, I thank you for the time, by the way. I really appreciate it. Make sure you guys check out my old Chaco video. Rent's due. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I needed something to talk about this week and I didn't know what else to talk about, so I talked about MHA. It's a very unfortunate thing, but I had to do it. Thanks for coming out, guys. Uh, might see you next week. We'll see.